Hey there, today I wanna share with you a free tool from Facebook that you can use to create better ads, understand your target market more clearly, more specifically, and create more engaging content to build your page likes, to draw people in, just to get more interaction and connect with people on your page. Hi, my name is Ashley Acker. I'm the creator of theleveragelifestyle.com where I help parents create online leverage businesses so they can have more freedom, spend more time with their family, live without limits, and create a legacy that lasts. All right, what I want you to do is I want you to go to your Facebook account. I'm gonna walk you through, share some screen uh, screen time with you today to show you this awesome tool. And it's something that I just started using and absolutely love. So if you go to your Facebook profile and click on the Ads Manager, over here on the left hand side, you will see audience insight. So I want you to click on that and that's going to pull up an option for us to search. It says choose an audience to start. So just click everyone in Facebook and I'm going to show you where we're going to get more specific. If you scroll down here on the left to interests, this is where you can enter page names. Okay. So I want you to think about your target audience. What is one big, huge brand or person that you know for sure that they follow? Okay. I'm going to walk you through a few examples here to give you some ideas. So let's start with an example. Let's say your target market is women entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs. And I know that's a little bit broad, but just go with me here. Okay, so who is somebody that women entrepreneurs might follow on Facebook? Well, I know for sure one person they might follow is Sandy Krakowski, and she has tons of followers. So we put Sandy Krakowski in here, and what it's going to do is it is going to bring up the demographics of the people that like her page. So we can see that it's 80%. 87% women, 13% men. You can see that most of those women are 35 to 44, um, really 25 to 54. And here we we find out something about their lifestyle, more, more things. So a lot are single parents. We can click to see all to see where the majority of her people are um, we've got savvy singles we've got country comfort and if you don't know what these lifestyle definitions are you just hover over this eye and it'll tell you um, more specifically what they mean by country single or urban tenants okay so you can find out a little bit oh here's a big one apple pie families um, upper middle class couples with school aged children so if that is the person you're trying to target then you need to learn what sandy is doing to attract those people okay um we can scroll down here we can see that most of the people on her page are married most of them have been to college and we even have job titles you know there's lots of people in the healthcare and medical field that follow sandy so that's the first thing that you can learn. You can learn more specifics about the demographics of your brand. You know, if you're not sure if if most of them are married or single, then this is a good place to look because you can target your ads, you can target your copy to speak to them more specifically. Now I want you to click over to page likes and this tells you uh, the people who like Sandy's page also like these other pages. They are more likely to like these other pages. And this is really important because, you know, it's it's very difficult to target huge brands on Facebook, especially in your advertising, because there's so much competition. Everybody's targeting her. Um, so what we want to do is we want to look and we want to find smaller niche sites that we can create ads based on, and we want to target those people. So whether it's page like ads or clicks to website ads that you're doing, if you can find those targeted niche sites, you'll have a lot more success. It'll cost a lot less but you're still targeting the same demographic the same type of person so let's look through here for Sandy's um, people also like women on fire and called magazine organizations women of faith you know Sandy is a Christian and she talks about that a lot so I'm sure a lot of Christian sites are gonna pop up on here your daily bread is another one um, this called magazine is a Christian site. So if you are targeting specifically Christian women entrepreneurs, there's going to be a lot of niche sites that you can find from looking at the audience insights on Sandy's page. Look at this public figures right here. Um, 
all these people you can pull quotes from, zig quotes, you know that your target audience is going to like, um, Victoria Osteen, and probably Joel as well. If you share quotes from them, they're probably going to get a lot of likes and shares. Um, you can see some of the health and wellness sites that people are also following, the books that they are reading, the Bible. If you share scripture, that's going to get a lot of shares and likes. Um, you can see the books people like to read, nonprofit organizations, a lot, a lot more Christian sites on here. You can see blogs that people are reading, Network Marketing Pro, Positive Outlooks, Lessons Learned in Life. Let's look at one of these. This Positive Outlooks, 4 million people like. I've never even heard of this site. You could go through here and see which posts are getting engagement. You know, what do people like? Because this is who your potential audience is following. If you can emulate some of their content for your own page, then potentially you'll get more engagement there. Look at this, this post right here. Change your life with Positive Outlooks. Head over to our website and subscribe. It's actually a call to action for their free opt-in offer, but they have a quote on here about change. It has 2,939 shares and over 6,000 likes. Y'all, that is huge. <laughs> um, and it's for their opt-in offer. So study stuff like this to see what's working within your audience, okay? This is huge. If you can copy, you don't wanna copy it, you don't wanna rip it off completely, but get inspired by this content and create something on your own page that's gonna make a big difference. You can also look here at page likes. Um, so Facebook pages that are likely to be relevant to your audience based on Facebook page likes. Um, Brendan Burchard, Joyce Meyer Ministries, um, a lot of the ones that we just saw up above. So you'll want to consider targeting these pages in your ads. You know, and, and to, some of them don't have a huge audience, but if you can um, pull a few similar ones together, then you really have a great and targeted audience that your target market's gonna respond to. Okay, um, if you're not sure about location, where your demographic is from, click on location. You can see cities, countries, languages. Activity is interesting too. Um, you can see that Sandy's audience um, likes a lot of pa pages, likes posts a lot. Um, but isn't really redeeming promotional offers. So maybe your money on ads on Facebook isn't best spent doing offers. This is important for ads, device users. 68% um, desktop and mobile and 3% desktop only. So when you're creating your ads, you wanna make sure if you're targeting an audience like Sandy's, that the ads you're creating for sure include mobile. Do both desktop and mobile ads because if you're doing desktop only, you are missing out on the majority of people, okay? Um, this is really important to look at. There's also information on household income, how many people own houses, household size, um, home market value, spending methods. You know, what are they actually spending money on? I also like looking at purchase behavior. So you can see their retail spending, you can see online purchases. They um, they are spending money online, which is great if you're building an online business. And you can also gain some insight from purchase behavior. Look at how many people are buying subscription services, y'all. Um, that means that if you sell something that um, they have to pay for on a monthly basis, a subscription, then this audience is likely to be okay with that, more likely to buy that. 69% are already buying subscription services. They're buying a lot of clothes. They're buying a lot of food and drink, okay? Um, and, you know, if you happen to sell cars or something related to cars, then this might be of interest to you. But I hope you can see just from that, Audience Insights has a huge, humongous amount of information that you can gather. Um, you can you can figure out which smaller niche sites 
you should be targeting. You can learn from them, target those smaller brands in your advertising so that you can lower your ad costs and have a bigger reach. Um, I like to pick some of those smaller niche sites and do a new page like ad for those every 10 days. So I'll target this one and then I'll target that one and then I'll target another one to see which one works, which one really I'm connecting with, which one I can bring um, their page likes over to my page. And the other thing you wanna look at in audience insights is demographics. There's, as you can see, a ton of information you can gather from audience insights. And the best part is it's free, right? You can find out so much about your potential audience just by looking at a bigger brand you know that they follow. And then finally, use this to, to really come up with some creative, engaging content ideas. Go to those smaller niche sites that they, that they like and see what content they're interacting with. What's getting shares, what's getting comments, what's getting likes, and how can you emulate that? You know, don't copy it, don't rip it off, but create a, vision, create a version of it that's true to you, that shares your voice, and really dial into the content that's engaging to your audience. So I hope you found value in my quick review of this tool. I would love to hear from you and hear how you plan on using the audience insights tool within Facebook. So leave me a comment below. Be sure to also click the link below or the link that's across your screen so we can stay in touch. I've got a great free gift for you. I want to teach you how you can create more leverage uh, by using tools and technology like this in your online business. That's it for today. Be sure to put into action what I've shared with you and I'll talk to you soon.